Jeff Serber, Operations Section Chief with Great Basin Team 1. The plan for today is to, uh, I'll kind of start down here on the I-70 corridor on the west side of the fire and move north clockwise around the fire as I describe it. So uh, for those folks that know where No Name Creek is, that's this area right here. You can kind of see in uh, uh, this display here that that continues to creep down. We're feeling more comfortable with this portion that we've worked on for several days, but this is continues to creep down to no name. Uh, all day yesterday, we flew retardant with heavy and medium helicopters down here, trying to trying to uh, settle that down to where the what we try to do is is calm it down enough and, uh, as it's dropping down off the slope that it can't throw embers to the other side. So we're basically trying to keep this fire from costing to the west and then running up that ridge and creating a problem that could come back down towards Glenwood Springs. So that is gonna continue for today, just like we did yesterday. We'll continue to work on this piece, especially that has the most heat in it. Uh, this drainage right here is grizzly, and uh, that is too rugged for to put individual firefighters into. So uh, we're, we're gonna let the fire pretty much uh, move, move to the north as unrestricted for right now because we need to prioritize our helicopter work to the west. Moving up out of the grizzly drainage uh, into what we call Division Quebec, all the way across the north northern part of the fire here over to Coffee Pot Campground. This fire continues to make runs in the uh, fur type and in the, in the more flammable fuels and wind-driven and slope-driven runs. It hasn't been wind-driven the last day or two and we don't expect it to be wind-driven today. Uh, our winds are supposed to be north to northwest winds, so that should be favorable to hold this in check south of Coffee Pot Road. But you might see, and you probably will see, just like the last few days, columns, occasional columns of smoke coming off this north end of the fire. And a lot of the time, it's a pocket of fuel that that catches just right and finally takes off, and it'll it'll burn that pocket that's highly flammable, and then it'll settle down again once it gets out into the flats where there's more sagebrush and aspen that's able to hold it down. So we plan to <clears throat> slow the fire spread in here only to buy us enough time to work dozers and other equipment that we're just getting into place up here on this portion of the fire. Uh, what we're going to try to do is cut from coffee pot, spot, coffee pot campground area, uh, somehow come across this flatter area back over to Grizzly and cut this northern part off. At that point, we still ex would expect that this fire will continue to move north until, um, you know, as far as rain or snow or whatever comes because we, we just can't get down in there to work. We can always slow it down with aircraft, but we can't put people in there that can actually walk along the edge and put it out for good. So for today, uh, that's what we're doing up north. We're just getting resources in there. We've been prioritizing these two sides. So uh, all the resources that we've gotten in the first five or six days have been put heavily into, into the east and west sides. Now we're starting to get enough resources and enough uh, little bits of uh, success on these other two sides that we're starting to, to move people into Quebec. So over into branch three from Coffee Pot, uh, campground back to I-70. We consider this to be branch three. Uh, through several loads retardant between Coffee Pot or between Coffee Pot Road and I-70, two days ago in the evening, we were able to this, uh, get crews in there and a dozer in there. You can see this dozer line that was uh, put in yesterday. We also have a dozer line that's coming out here as a contingency in case we can't hold this fire. We're also constructing another line out here to try to catch it if it crosses. Uh, our dozer line and our crew work down in, in where we presently are holding the fire. Um, that's going really well. I'm starting to feel pretty confident that we'll be able to hold that piece between uh, I-70 and the Coffee Pot Road. And then we've got the coffee, coffee Pot Road where it meets the Coffee Pot Road back to the Coffee Pot Campground. And that uh, is also being worked on today. It is hitting the top of those flatter areas and we'll take direct action up there and, and hopefully be successful. Moving down to the south side of I-70 uh, near the Bear Ranch area. This, uh, this portion of the fire uh, that is shown right below the sea in the map is, was burned out last night till about 11 or, 
or, or 12 o'clock at night. It was a successful burnout operation to protect the bear ranch structures at the bottom. And uh, that went well. We'll get that settled down today. We still have all this active fire that we need to deal with as it backs off slope down into another portion of the bear ranch that has a residence uh, that we're trying to do protection and keep people in there so that as this fire advances down slope, we'll, have, uh, we'll be able to protect that structure in that area. This portion of the fire over here in Division X-Ray uh, ran a day or two ago and it hit a large lava flow right here and, and it couldn't get past that lava so it kind of caught it. As it came this way, it got up on the flats. You can see the difference between the green and the white on the map. The white is those open park-like areas up on top that have sagebrush and there's still enough green or enough fuel moisture that they don't want to pick up and burn real hard. And so our folks that are building line all along this uh, X-ray Zulu, what we call X-ray Zulu portion of the fire, are having success with he using helicopters and picking up the spot fires and picking up the edge of the fire and putting it out. So when it did hit this lava, it bought us enough time to get a, a feller buncher, piece of heavy equipment and a, and a dozer in here. And we're going to follow this road system onto Spruce Ridge. Spruce Ridge is a large open ridge that uh, has no vegetation actually in portions of it. And uh, we, we laid a lot of retardant, fixed wing retardant with heavy air tankers yesterday on that ridge. And in an attempt to build the line through this green area, you can see that has vegetation over to the area that has less, less vegetation and continue to come down slope to I-70 and hopefully hook this portion of the fire. So that's what we're working on heavily today in this area with a lot of resources. We have resources that camped at Green Lake Spike, so they're right up there where they're working. So it's very conducive to them traveling out and we don't, we don't spend near as much time moving back and forth, moving all of our stuff back and forth, moving down, back from Zulu to Lookout Mountain and then back to the original point I started down on I-70. This is looking good. We gave that uh, division supervisor another dozer and a couple of hand crews because a lot of this was held in check with retardant and over time retardant dries out and the fire starts to creep through the retardant and it can sneak out the other side of the retardant line and take off again. So uh, we bolstered this division's ability to build actual build line and get people on the ground down in there that can actually go ahead and put the fire edge out. And then we, we lastly, we have a, what we call a structure branch that has a uh, Oh, probably 15 engines in it right now. We have an initial attack responsibility that goes beyond this fire north and south. And if a new fire starts, uh, they'll ask us for help or they'll ask us to go initial attack that fire with our aircraft and with uh, some of the resources we have on this fire. So we keep those folks engaged. Some of them are engaged at Bear Ranch in the work that's being done around there, but they can quickly leave and go to a new start if they needed to and we could backfill behind them from other areas of the fire. So uh, we have that, it's called the Structure IA Branch, and they'll be in that area working today. That's all I have. Thank you.